Hello friends, in this video I am going to talk about one requirement for programmer trainee at Cognizant. So last two days ago Cognizant have like published one recruitment for freshers. So you can see that job posting time is right, date is December 1st 2020. So on December 1st Cognizant have like posted this new post. So the post name is that programmer trainee and uh, the qualification like basics qualification for this post is that you need to be a, a science student or engineering student right so what is the process of applying for this job if you will see in this page right uh, they have given one apply button whenever you will click here you will right it will open one form and uh, one page you can say and you need to fill up the form here so you need to upload your cv and you have to write uh, input some information they ask so I'll, if you will see right here you have to first process and you need to do first that upload you need to upload your cv and after uploading that cv they will write uh, take some information from your cv and you have to check that your correct information and you have to submit the information and like some skills what you have and you need to write press on next you will go for like submit process for this post so if we will talk about that what kinds of kind of job this is so it is like simply it is a programmer training it means that when you will apply from here right after applying from here they will write review your cv if your cv is going to shortlist then they will send you one email right regarding that your cv is shortlisted after that sometime you will get another email for like online test so when you will qualify that online test they will call you for technical interview and that uh, technical interview or uh, next that will be right hr interview so when you will qualify this all round after that they will write call you for training so now this day it's like lockdown period so they will not uh, like uh, call you to join office but maybe they will uh, start your training from home so in that training what they are right what this cognizant is doing that cognizant will give you like some task as a uh, like they will provide you some courses like uh, one of my friend who is working with uh, like cognizant they like join cognizant in rank uh, starting of this year so what they are doing that they have given one udemy account to that and they have given some courses from udemy and uh, you have to complete that courses from udemy and you need to write uh, give report to your mentor or something like they have decided to you for mentor or director from that uh, cognizant and uh, when you will complete your like this course and they will also learn you like they will teach you many things so when you will complete the training process they will sit you on bench so after that whenever they feel like cognizant feel that any requirement from like any department they will get you back from that bench and they will post you on that area so maybe they will write if you uh, maybe you are from uh, technical uh, like feel that like you are good in programming someone have like good in mobile application development someone like good in uh, what we can say web development it doesn't matter what matter is that after selecting in cognizant they will write trend you on uh, the technology they want it's not depend on you like what you want to uh, to work on that so suppose one of my friend that is very good in java but after getting selected from cognizant they are working as a web developer so what they have done they trained on dotnet right uh, asp.net and they are working as a web developer for uh, with asp.net so like it's all depend on company so uh, whenever company uh, cognizant will find that uh, any requirement related any field they will train you on that particular field and you have to work on that particular field so it's all about cognizant so apply for this job and all the best for your first round that <laughs> like we can say that uh, for selecting your CV so whenever you your CV will be selected you will get email for that if your CV is not going to select you will not get email so let's hope you will get apply and you will get email for that so thank you so much